So my digital marketing agency has retained countless clients now for multiple years to the point where some of their long-term values are nearing $50,000. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you a straightforward process for how you can set up similar in your agency because the fact that one, of course, it's a lot more profitable, but two, it's a whole lot easier to build a business and manage a business that's based on recurring revenue. So you're not having to fight and claw and scrap your way to find your next project-based revenue. So if you're brand new here, my name is Matt Wasik. I'm the CEO of Landscape Marketing Pros. There's a marketing agency currently doing about $35,000 in monthly recurring revenue. I make these videos because I really wish I had this information available to me when I was getting started 2016, 2017, because it would have saved me multiple years of frustration, headaches, stress, embarrassment, and I don't want that to happen to you. Now, briefly before we begin, I wanna bring your attention to the first link in the description as well as the pinned comment down beneath this video. Registration for my HVA webinar is now live. So once this video is complete, head down there, whether you're a beginner that is looking to get started completely from scratch, you have no experience, or you're someone who's been out for a couple of years, maybe you're at three, four, five, six clients and you're just stuck where you're at and you're trying to scale, Head over there, register for that webinar, watch that end to end. It's gonna show you how to attract, close, and retain clients. And you'll also have the opportunity to get access to even more training where you can work with me on a more one-to-one -one level. And you can learn the same step-by-step -step tactics that Kyle used to get his very first paid client in his digital marketing agency, where he signed them for 1250 a month after a $2,000 setup fee. So again, after this video is done, head down there, register and watch that. So these steps are going to be unconventional to say the least because 99% of agencies don't do this and they're gonna go against what I say and still remain stuck. So what I highly encourage you to do is to use these because this is what unlocked my dream life for me. I went from being broke at my $640 a month apartment in West Fargo, North Dakota, probably one of the absolute coldest cities in the country. It's absolutely just miserable for six, seven, eight months of the year to now living my dream life in Florida, house with a pool. I'm able to drive my dream truck, have my dream fifth wheel toy hauler camper, I'm able to go race motocross across the country. And these steps are what enabled that. And if you put these to work in your business, I can almost guarantee you will definitely see benefit of that. So step number one is going to be getting rid of contact forms on your website and setting up a basic funnel with a calendar for booking only no contact forms because what happens if you go through a contact form you're going to be playing email tag or phone tag with your prospects and then nothing's ever going to come of it i see so many agencies doing this and i think this is the worst way to do it same thing with even a chat bot i really advise not even having them i know they're popular especially because go high level is going crazy people love all that stuff but my agency their only way to get in contact with my company as a prospect like if you have not signed up yet is to go through and book a call and there's a reason for that because I, one, I want to limit my time. My attention is very, very valuable. I'm not going to just be spending it playing email tag, just like I mentioned, with a contact form with a prospect who may not even be qualified. So step number one, getting rid of all contact forms and getting it into a funnel. If you wanna use ClickFunnels, WordPress, go high level if you really want to. I don't use it, I didn't like it. Whatever you gotta do just to get that in place and use a calendar for booking for all new inquiries coming into your business. Step number two is to set up service programs. The reason you wanna do this is because you do not wanna have a list of 12 services that your clients can pick and choose from because then what you're gonna do is not gonna be able to scale because you're gonna be doing all these different things, running around unfocused and all that sort of nonsense. It's also hard for employees to do that because then they're gonna be doing all sorts of other different tasks. Set up your programs before you even talk with a prospect. In my company, it's two main programs and then there's a third one that's those two combined. And the first one is SEO focus. This is gonna be for clients who have a longer term focus. They don't need work right now, but they wanna start growing their company over the next three, six, 12, 24, 36 months. And there's no urgent need and they don't wanna have high ad costs as well. And so that's where that comes into play. The other one is ads focused just purely Google ads. And that's gonna be great for the prospects who need work ASAP. And the final one is a comprehensive program that combines the two. That's gonna be the ones that can afford to continue running ads year round in addition to having SEO working for them. And that's generally gonna be the companies that are close to that seven figure mark or even more, at least in my company. I recommend having ad spend be billed directly to the client's credit card with that platform, if it's Google, Facebook, or whoever it is, because the fact that you wanna have monthly recurring revenue, you don't wanna do project-based stuff when with a digital marketing agency. My entire goal when I was starting my agency was I need consistent recurring cash flow that is sustainable, that I can depend on, so I can at least live my life and be able to sleep really well at night because the money is coming in consistently. I was doing project-based stuff when I first got started just because I need something to pay the bills, but it's not a fun cycle, basically like a hamster wheel that you're in. It's just not very fun at all to have a business that's like that. Highly encourage setting these up so that way it's on a monthly basis that they're paying whatever the rate is every single month. Step three, 
This one is one of the most powerful ones because this is what's gonna separate you from the thousands of generalists that are out there. Pick a niche. I have videos dedicated to niche selection here on the channel. I'll probably do more. If you guys want me to do more videos on that because I think it's really powerful, comment below. But it's extremely, extremely important because the absolute best way to get traction nowadays is by niching down. Yes, there are big players out there doing eight figures in sales that are generalists that work with 50 different kinds of businesses. However, they probably got started 10, 15, 20 years ago where the game was completely different. They could probably actually get away with cold calling and close deals there. The game has completely changed. The number one way to stand out is to be niched down. There are so many business owners that I talked to, I even just had one this morning, who said they were tired of working with a local marketing agency that didn't have a clue about how their industry worked. And so they sought out us. They found my agency's YouTube channel. And this happens time and time again. So what I encourage you to do is really go all in with this. If you want to register a business name and do all that sort of stuff, you can absolutely go ahead and do that. But at a minimum, get a domain, get a website, build out your funnel. I don't care if it's using WordPress, go high level, click funnels, whatever you want to use. I don't care. Just go get something out there, get your calendar embed onto there and some copywriting and be off to the races. The next thing you need to do is go create a branded YouTube channel. This is so, so, so powerful because if you go on camera, just like I'm doing right here, the level of trust and rapport that you can build by being on camera, essentially having a conversation with that viewer, just like you're doing right here, right now, puts you in a league of your own compared to all the other agencies that won't do it. It's an absolute difference maker because you're niche down, you're talking about marketing services and how they're beneficial to their company, how to get more leads through SEO, how to maximize their ad spend. I mean, there's hundreds of different topics under the sun. You never run out of video ideas. You can even talk about helping them get more sales. I mean, there's so many different opportunities for what you could talk about. And then from there, just posting consistently. Once a week, long form videos, I think are the best with business owners because they're doing three, four, five hundred thousand bucks on the low end, at least for your clients that you actually want to take on. They're not really watching short form videos very much. And also the likelihood and the quality of leads that you're going to get from longer form videos is much, much better than the short form. One thing I want to close out this point with is that you want to have a soft call to action in every single video. For example, if you'd like more help growing your garage door business, head down below, click that first link in the description, book a call with us, and let's have a conversation about scaling your business. Simple as that. Step number four is to get video testimonials. This right here, this social proof is the most powerful thing that will help you grow your agency bar none. Because when a prospect sees that there's somebody that is just like them, that they're watching through the screen on their phone or their computer saying, hey, yeah, I was at 250,000 bucks in revenue. Then I started working with these guys. And after the first year, we got to 500K. Then the year after that, we got to 750. Then the next year after that, we're now at about 1.1 million. That's so powerful. And what that's saying to that viewer, which would be your prospect. So, 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 so critical to get these. So the absolute best way to obtain testimonials, specifically video, is to offer your services for free. And this is exactly what I did for multiple clients because I knew I needed to get some testimonials because there were multiple sales calls that I had been on where prospects were saying, well, you don't have any reviews, so how can I trust you? I mean, it wasn't directly that, but it was basically saying that. That social proof is what you need. You absolutely got to have it. So go out there and offer to do the work for free. If you want to really expedite this, go run ads for them and just cover the ad spend, cover the whole thing. Have a job where you can afford to put two, three thousand bucks a month into this which is laughable when you compare it to any offline business like a restaurant or an electrical contracting company or a retail store where they're spending six figures before they can even get paid from a single client. And then you're off to the races. It's so much easier. It's, it, I think it's truly the cheat code. So many don't want to do this. They want to fight and claw for that $500 a month client. And then after two years, they're barely at $2,500 in monthly recurring revenue, where if you just skip that, you work for free with two clients, for six months, let's say, you got them amazing results, got them video testimonials, and then you started spreading the word, which will get into the next step here of how to do that. You then start bringing in leads. They're gonna actually be interested and they see that you can get them results and then you can very rapidly, instead of being stuck at 2,500 a month, you could be at 25,000 a month recurring. So place getting video testimonials at the top of your task list. And if you have existing clients and you're they're in an industry that you actually maybe want to niche down into, then ask them for video testimonial as well. Make sure it's like a storytelling type of video. It's not just them for 10 seconds saying, yeah, they helped my company. You want it to be minute, minute and a half, two minutes, kind of sharing a little bit of a story of how they found you, what was going on in their business, and then how you helped them, and then what the results were from there. Very, very simple to do. Step five is to leverage the ever living crap out of those testimonials. Get them out on their YouTube channel. Use a clickbait headline. Do what you gotta do. How X business added $500,000 in sales over two years. And that will bring in people to watch it. It's so, so, so powerful. This was the absolute difference maker in my business when I finally got these. 
And that's what enabled me from basically scraping by at six, 7,000 bucks a month to very rapidly multiple five figures in monthly recurring revenue at a very profitable rate. Get them onto your agency's website, whether that's on the homepage, the call booking page, testimonial page, heck, even all of them. I mean, I recommend putting it on all those pages because the more you have that in their face, the more they're gonna see, the more they're going to remember that, okay, yeah, these guys got them really good results. Next thing is retargeting ads. If you wanna do Google Display or YouTube, there's one option. I do a lot with Facebook and even Instagram as well. I got a video here on the channel talking about doing that for like seven bucks a day and how it's very, very profitable. And you also wanna use these when you're overcoming objections on your sales calls. If someone's coming in and they're in the same position that this particular client was that you have a video testimonial of, they were at 300 grand in revenue and they were kinda of unsure about this whole marketing thing. And then you tell them, hey, these guys took advantage of this opportunity to get onto our service program at that same revenue level that your prospect is at. And then over the course of the next year, they grew to 750,000 bucks or whatever the revenue number is. That's gonna squash their objections that they have. Six. And this should really go without saying, but for some reason, a lot of agencies screw this up. Deliver amazing results. I think the lack of results comes down to really just two main things. The first one being someone that's a total beginner. They don't really understand what they're doing. And to that, I encourage you go learn the skills. There's lots of videos on my channel about SEO, website design, doing Google business SEO, all sorts of stuff like that. Or two, they're a generalist agency that's working with five, six, seven different clients doing 12 different services. There's really no time or opportunity to even become very well-versed at whatever that particular service is in that particular industry. And they frankly just leave money on the table for their clients. It's something that I see quite often at my company with prospects who had a website built by whatever cheap agency they went with multiple years ago for 200 bucks a month. It's just the nature of it because there's just not enough time of the day for them to learn. That's why niching down and doing all the steps that I covered is so incredibly important. And I understand there's a lot of people out there that are watching this that don't want to put the time into learning these sorts of skill sets. And I encourage you to learn the skill sets. If you don't wanna build the websites, you don't wanna run the SEO, you don't wanna run the ads, all that sort of stuff, there are contractors out there that do an amazing, amazing job with it. You still want to understand what the hell is going on when it comes to your results that you're generating for your clients. You gotta understand what's going on because otherwise they're gonna be asking you questions and you're going to not know how to answer them. So that's why I encourage that you learn the process of what it is that you're selling. Even if you do plan to outsource it to a vendor or to a contractor or whatever, at least you then understand what is going on and you can set the expectation for how long it's going to actually take to get results and why things fluctuate and that sort of stuff. Because there's a lot of things that go on with the search engine, with ad platforms that change and you got to be aware of those things. So that is the six step process to how to actually get clients that are gonna be staying on board for a long, long, long time and could pay you upwards of multiple five figures and even upwards of 40, 50,000 bucks depending on how much you are charging. So with all of that, highly encourage you to go down below, check out the webinar, register for that, watch that broadcast end to end, check out the opportunity to get additional training and working on a more one-to-one -one basis with me and the other guys in the program. And if you use these tips in your business, comment your thoughts down below. I'd like to hear how they helped you. Drop a like on this video. Also go down below, subscribe, click the bell for notifications so you never miss an upload from me. And with that said, my name is Matt Wasek. We'll see you in the next video.